Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to model organic shapes using sub tools. And we're going to do something very exciting. We are going to try to model AI concepts and convert them into actual 3D models. So we're going to start with this AI image. Okay, so let's start. So first thing we need to do is to go to the front view, so double click to maximize the view and drag and drop the image. Choose picture and start scaling it. And now let's draw a reference line for the base. Open the also, press F8, open the also. And choose polyline and draw a line here. Take clicks and right click to raise the command. Move the line to be here, for example, like the base. And then this shape is symmetrical, so I'm going, I'm going to draw another reference line here and make sure it's perpendicular to the base line. Then click, then right click to raise the command. And let's move the object maybe something like this. Select the image and hide the isocurves curves and go to the in the properties, go to the material, and let's reduce the transparency a little bit. Make it maybe 4%. And let's move the image a little bit away. So double click to minimize the view and double click in the perspective to maximize. And let's move it away maybe 30 meters. So type 30 and click. And select the image and type lock. Or you can look it from the visibility. Then double click and to minimize the view and double click to maximize and go to the go to the front view. So now we're going to draw a reference curve here first. So choose the curve and press F8 to close the also and draw maybe a point here, point here, and another point here. Then right click, then select the curve, press F10 to open the control points and start adjusting the control points to match our reference. Okay, now we are going to adjust the scale of uh, the image and these curves. So I'm going to select everything and uh, choose scale 3D. Select the first point and this, let's choose this for the second point. And let's assume that the, the lens of this line is three meters. So type three and then right click. Okay, that look, looks okay. Now since we are going to use sub D for these shapes, I'm going to use polyline. So I'm going to draw something maybe here like this. Right click and here something maybe like this and right click. And here maybe something like this. I'm using the right click to bring the last command again and instead of enter. Try to make the, the, the points close to each other. For example, I want to make this point close to this one. So when I create here, I create a face like this. And this one, maybe making it closer to this one would be better. Move this like this. This will make the topology of the of the form uh, better for adjusting. And for this one, let's draw just four edges like this. Let's draw maybe something here like this. Okay, uh, we draw all the edges. Now I will need to offset them. I need to offset them because I'm going to offset them and I'm going to use uh, the loft command in the sub tools to create surface. Then I'm going to use the single surface to create another faces between all of them. So, okay, let's start offsetting them. I think I will offset them inside. Maybe offset maybe point 15 for this one. This can go inside. This. Let's make this point maybe 5, 0.05. Make it to the inside. Two. This maybe point one into inside. This point fifteen inside. This point fifteen and inside. This point fifteen inside also. Now we need to trim this extra parts and extend this one. So type extend. Select the boundary object. Right click. Select the curve to extend. Then right click to the point. And for this two, I'm going to use trim. Select the cutting object. This two and then right click. Trim this one. This one. This one. And this one. And right click. So now I'm going to use the loft command. So choose loft with sub tools. Select this curve, this curve, right click and shift the corners. Then right click again, right click again, select this one, this one, choose corners, then right click. Now for this also, select right click to bring the command again, select this one, this one, then right click, right click again. It's okay. So now we have a problem. As you can see, the, the edges are not, I want I want the faces to be something like this. Points are connected, the, the, the points close to each other are connected in a single edge like this, but here, uh, it's kind of weird a little bit. So I'm going to delete this for now. Let's hold Control Shift and select these two edges and delete them. Then let's create loft from these two curves. Choose clo uh, corners. Okay. Then hold Control Shift, select this edge, this edge, and let's choose bridge. And make sure, okay. So I'm going to do the same for all the remaining objects. 
I think the loft didn't work uh, well with uh, closed curves. So select these two, choose loft, choose corners, control shift, delete this one, control shift, delete this one, and control shift, delete this two, control shift, and delete all of this to make them open. And select this one, this one, choose loft, choose corner, select these two, loft again, select these two, right, loft again. And we're going to hold control shift and create a bridge. Right click, right click to bring it again, control shift. Hold Control Shift, select this to edge and right click. Hold Control Shift and select this to edge and right click. Okay, now I want to hide all these curves, so select all these curves. Hold Shift to select the multi-object at the same time. So I will select all these curves and then press Control H. Now I want to create another faces here, connecting the object, all the object together. So I'm going to select everything. Okay, uh, I just need to move this edge, so select it and. Type move, move with the direction press tab and it's now until it intersects here. Make sure, uh, by the way, make sure that the project is open so we don't snap to the, any uh, to any other uh, point in the 3D space. So select all these sub D, all these sub D surfaces and choose create a single sub D face. So it's going to be automatically automatically appended. And in polygon type choose quad. So now let's create the faces. Here make something like this and for this one. Right click, go to the ghost mode. I think I need to delete this one and this one also. So I'm going to divide this into two faces. So again, select the object, choose the face, and go maybe something like this. Another one here. Then right click. Okay, uh, great. Uh, there is, you see this weird uh, vertices. I want to show you, uh, and also if you switch to the maybe render mode, arcadic mode, and go to the perspective maybe, switch to the arcadic mode. You see, it it is actually a, a weird vertices. So I want to show you why this problem happened and how to fix it. So first, to understand, for for every face, it has two sides, and and it is it makes difference. If we connected a faces that uh, their normals are facing this direction and another this uh, normals are facing the other direction, it will it will create this this weird vertices. So how do to know uh, the direction of the edge face? We can go to the uh, properties in the view. And in, in the object setting, you will see color back face. You can check this one and choose maybe any color, any clear color, choose blue, for example. So as you can see, all these faces have uh, this is a back face and this is a front face. So they are not having the same normal. The normals are not facing the same direction. So to adjust this problem, we will need to convert this into a mesh, then use a command called uh, unify mesh norm normals, and then convert it back into a sub D. So to convert it to mesh, we're not going to use to mesh uh, for mesh from nerves because if we use this one, it's going to result to, into a very dense mesh, and it's not what we want. We, not, we want a mesh that have the exact same shape as the flat mode of the C sub D. So we are going to use another command called extract control polygon, which is this one. So now here, here you see we have a mesh with the exact same shape of the sub D surface in the flat mode. So now we are going to use another command called unify mesh normal. Press enter. So now as you can see, it, all the faces have the same color. So they are facing the same, the normals are uh, facing the same uh, direction. So now I want to convert this back into into sub D. So I'm going to use a convert to sub D command and choose mesh crease, okay, and mesh corners uh, to set it to S2. And then right click. So here we go. If we zoom in here, as you can see, uh, this weird vertices disappeared. So select this one and delete this two and select this object and go to the standard and choose move. Move from here, press F8 opens also, and press tab and snap until it intersects with this point, with this curve. Okay, now let's keep drawing the remaining faces. Select the object, go to sub D tools, and choose a 3D face. Okay, I, need, I, might, I might need to divide this one also. So, okay, as you can see here, uh, it is going to have. A wrong direction, so I will cancel this for now. I will add an, an edge here, so choose point, draw edge here, and again choose surface, choose append, select the object, right click, make sure it's square, and it's no maybe face here. 
another one here. You right click, hold control shift. I'm going to divide this into two. So take this one, put this uh, single face, draw one here, and draw another one here. So for this one, I think I will have to divide this into two also. Maybe moving this like this. And again, choose object, select single face, draw this here, and another one here. This might need to go down, and this need to go down also. Okay, we might need to start adjusting the shape a little bit. This point need to be crease, so select here, and right click to make it hard to crease. And this one, here, and right click to make it hard to crease. And let's start adjusting the shape. Move this up a little bit. Make sure to avoid this kind of intersection. So usually switching between the flat and the smooth mode is very useful. So, so to avoid, just adjust it, select this edge and move it down. Okay, I, I think this looks good now. So let's double click and to minimize the view and double click to maximize the perspective. So now this is just a 2D. We want to make it something like this. So to make to do so, I'm going to select these two curves, hold Alt and copy them here. And I'm going to create a surface from this. So I'm going to use revolve command from the surface tools here. We can just type revolve, and this is going to be the, the axis. So right click and make it 300 dig, uh, 360 degree, degree. So now I want to project this surface here to this. Curve. So I'm going to go to the sub D and choose selection filter for the vertex. Select all these vertices, then disable it and choose project. You can type project options from here. For the direction, I choose custom and select the object. Right click and the direction is going to be here, like this direction. Make sure it opens also and here we go. Let's select this object and press Ctrl X to hide. So now we know that this object is uh, symmetrical. So I'm going to select it. I may need to set the gamble to reset this object. So I'm going to use reflect to create another copy here. Open the also and use X right click and select these two objects and create another copy here. Flip the direction to keep this one, then right click, select this object. Or before selecting this object, I want to. You see, this uh, these edges are not connected, so I'm going to select all this edge, select this one, so control shift to select this one, and then double click here, then type set point, and set it in this direction, which is y direction, and snap it to this this line, and then select this and control edge. So we have our base shape. All we have to do now is to start adjusting the shape to match our design. So I think this point need to start scaling them a little bit, like something maybe like this. And we can use the slide to move them up a little bit. So select this one and choose slide, move it up, maybe something like this. And we will need to add few edges. So I'm going to double control shift and double click and hold control shift and start scaling to add another edge in, to the inside. And then double click and select this edge and choose the gamble align to object and move it down a little bit. But since this edge needs to be creased, also double click to this edge and here, right click, choose crease. Let's do the same process for the remaining uh, opening. Double click, scale, hold control shift and scale, and then move it to the inside, and then double click, control shift and double click to select this loop and right click here to make it crease. And there is uh, another thing. Now I want to, we will need to create a surface here, but I want it to be a planar surface. So to do so, here in the align object, there is to fit plane. If we select it, it will adjust the control point to fit the closest plane to this to this opening. And then to create the opening, we can come here and duplicate, or even without duplicating, if we hold Control Shift and select all these edges and came here and choose surface full of planar curves, we have a surface here. So I'm going to repeat this processes for the rem all the, rem the remaining opening, and I'm going to speed this part to save some time. So hold Control Shift. Scale inside shift. Click on please. This one needs a little bit. 
this one need to be adjusted at some point. I might need to actually scale this. Close this actual slide. We want to select these two points and type set point and uh, set it to in the direction and align it with this point. And set this to align to C plane and make it move in the same like this. Okay, now for this surface, we need to just draw a line here. For this one too, we need to draw a line here. So select, okay, select this edges, this line. Go here and same thing here. Go shift to shift, double click, shift to this one. And now we just need to select all these faces and then add mirror, choose copy, set copy to yes, and it's set this point and mirror them here. This one to need to. You know, here, just press right click to bring the command again and put these openings. Okay, this one, this one, not shift. And type mirror, copy yes. And here we go. Of course, you, you can keep refining the shape by adjusting the control points, but this looks fine. We might still need to refine the design, the design, so maybe we want to add an opening here. So we can go to subd tool and choose add uh, points and select the subd and maybe start adding some kind of points here. So right click. Maybe this point need to move like this. Control shift, select this one, maybe. Maybe delete this one. Control, control Z. Let's choose again add points, object, a point here, here, and here, maybe. So right click. Okay, yes, this looks better. And to make it an opening, we can select these faces and delete them. And align this to the sub D. Start adjusting the form. And to add it, you can double click and hold Control Shift and Scale. Hold Control Shift and Scale again. Double click, select everything, hold Control Shift and Scale again. And then double click, we can move this inside. Double click, select these edges and make it increase. Right click here. Maybe adding another opening here. So choose add points, select object, and start adding points here. Select all these faces and delete. And double click and hold control shift and scale. Hold control shift scale again. Double click again. Double click again. Control shift and double click select the loop. Then control shift and scale. Move it to the inside. Double click, right click here to make it freeze. Hold control shift move this point to inside a little bit. Control Z. Which do the align to the C plane and move this here like this, maybe down a little bit. Which is this point, move it inside. Mm. And now to, to make an opening here, double click, align, fit, plane fit. And here, same thing, double align, plane fit, and double click, double click, and you choose surface with panel. And let's mirror them, mirror. And here we go. You can keep refining the design, of course. Maybe moving by like move and move this in this direction. Like this, this tab. This looks good now. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you later.